Okay, it's uh, 2.40, I think we can begin. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed the last presentation. I'm Saad Malik, the CTO and co-founder of Spectral Cloud, and we've been working on edge Kubernetes for the past five years. So in the next five minutes, I'd like to share some of our insights from an annual survey that we conduct with Kubernetes practitioners on how they're using Kubernetes, and also some of our learnings on how customers are leveraging edge native technologies. Now, this is a big year for Kubernetes. It is its 10th anniversary. It has become the second largest open source project right behind the Linux kernel with over 88,000 contributors. Now, even with all the excitement around Kubernetes and its adoption across all these different environments and use cases, it does come with some, some significant challenges. So as you guys all know, there is a plethora of integrations when it comes to the CNCF landscape, over 1,800 plus different integrations when it comes to logging, monitoring, security, and more. Many customers find it challenging to find the right versions of compatibility, managing the configurations of all these different integrations. Also, when it comes to types of workloads, there are many different varieties, and organizations are looking for flexibility when it comes to running workloads of both type containers and virtual machines. And then finally, the number of environments are growing and they're becoming more complex. How do you rein in the complexity of managing environments, whether they are in public clouds, private clouds, data centers, bare metal, and edge environments? Now, even with all of these different complexities, we are seeing that edge is on the rise. In the survey that we, we, we asked, 85% of organizations are already running edge computing platforms that are either in trial or in production. This is a significant increase from last year where the number was 50%. Now, when it comes to challenges in the edge, the top three are relatively the same, the number one being compliance and security. And the security is not just at the application level, but security when it comes to the infrastructure. And when it comes to day two configurations, being able to do all the remote management centrally without having to send field engineers, which essentially is a third challenge, because every time you send a field engineer down to a site, whether it's a hospital, whether it's an oil and gas rig, it becomes very cost prohibitive. Now, how are we working at Spectra Cloud to address some of these challenges? Well, we're working with customers like the US Air Force who have very critical requirements when it comes to security. For them, security means everything from the silicone all the way up to the application stack. We open sourced a project three years, three years ago called Kairos that provides immutable operating systems from any distribution that you want. Uh, with this technology, you can very quickly build a secure system. Now, working with the US Air Force and other customers with high sensitivity, we've added capabilities like secure boot and measured boot and even hardware key encryption built into the platform. Uh, the other cool thing about Kairos is we actually donated this project to the CNCF landscape three months ago. So now it's a CNCF sandbox project with many contributors from outside of our company as well too. Now, their customers are also asking for a flexible deployment models. Kairos does everything from managing your operating system to your Kubernetes, your application stacks. But customers are asking for flexibility where they want to provide a bare metal systems with their own operating systems, and they want us to just manage the Kubernetes perspective and all the layers on top of it. With our latest release of Spectra Cloud Palette, we have what's called agent mode that allows you to essentially run these entire systems, whether it's in Kairos mode or in agent mode. And day, day two lifecycle management is core of what Spectra Cloud really does. Uh, with day zero, you essentially define a blueprint or template called a cluster profile that describes your entire infrastructure. Everything from your operating system to Kubernetes, all the different integrations, you define this into a blueprint that you're able to then consistently deploy into in any environment of your choice and then manage fleets of clusters at scale. When it comes to edge provisioning, we support many different options. Whether you want to provision as a Pixie boot, a USB boot, or using a local UI to manage the entire system. And for day two, we do provide many different ways of updating the systems. Uh, most cases, when there's a connected use case, you have a remote centralized managed system, whether it's on SaaS or you have an on-prem version of it as well too. But you can also directly go to a local cluster and using a local UI, pass an update file, an archive file, that has the entire update and being able to update a complete remote location that is complete air-gapped. Some edge environments are very complex. They're very bespoke. We're working with a customer called Densupply 
that essentially has, they're essentially installing these x-ray machines for dentals into different dental clinics around the world. Some dental clinics have DHCP, some have static IP, some have VLANs, VXLANs. We've built a solution called Dynamic Overlay that allows you to configure all the different underlay configurations to be separate, but the overlay network on top is stable. So even if there are disruptions or changes in the underlying infrastructure, it does not impact your infrastructure or your applications. And that pretty much wraps up my presentation. There is a lot more insight into the how Kubernetes practitioners are using it, what environments are they using it for. Please feel free to download this report that covers many of these insights. We do also have a boot right outside if you have any questions on any of the use cases that we support, or in general have any questions on Kubernetes and supporting it at scale. On behalf of the CNCF and Spectral Cloud, we wish you guys a wonderful KubeCon and have a great day. Thank you so much.